The farming community of Bepong has become almost deserted with no men in sight. The aged and women sit around and reflect on the violence last Sunday that rocked the community. The youth, according to the chief of the community, were demanding lynching of a murder suspect, Kwesinyako, who had been kept at the palace. It resulted in the destruction of property at the palace. The police also say five of their officers were injured and one of their cars and six motorbikes damaged. For fear of being arrested, several youth have fled the town to avoid police swoops that persisted in the community from Sunday through to Monday morning. While the police say it has restored calm, members of the community say their normal routine has been unduly affected with shops closed and many young people in hiding. <laughs> Some community members are also accusing the police of heavy handedness in the way it dealt with the violence after calling in reinforcement. Police in the chief of Bepong says. He simply wants calm to return to the community and has asked the police to deal with anyone found guilty to have partaken in the violence. Hey, Mama, and to be able to find the video of Captain Ra, a police phone in the end of the country. The chaos on Sunday has brought schooling in the community to a standstill. The Kuru South Municipal Chief Executive Emmanuel Atofori says a final decision on security matters lies with the IGP. Whatever we we'll do to reopen the school on Wednesday, we we'll do it. On the side of uh, security aspect, too, yes, we are waiting for IGP. He's on the way coming. Uh, although we've taken decision, but we haven't affirmed it, so we are waiting for him. To take the, the 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 directive that he will direct, that we should, then we take it from there. The police say they have so far arrested 71 suspects after multiple swoops in the community and have vowed to go after those on the run and put them before court as soon as possible.